Hey everybody, Scott here from Chernobyl Studios, and today we have a pretty unique video. You may have noticed that I don't do a lot of vocal production content, so that's why today's video is unique. We are going to be looking at the artifact bundle from Solemn Tones today, specifically how it'll take a vocal production and pretty much put it on easy mode. So here I have my Cubase session open and I'm working with these lows, mids, and high screams. Now when it comes to metal vocals, we're basically looking to, com to compress the hell out of them and brighten them up so they can cut through the mix with some EQ and saturation. We're going to do most of that with the Artifact Bundle. So the Artifact Bundle is five different plugins. They are Beast, Overload, Room, Frostbite, and Smash. Now Beast acts like a vocal effects modifier basically. Thankfully, I really didn't need to employ this plugin on this mix because Tim the guy who's doing these vocals is actually already a beast on vocals and as you can hear I really don't need to do a whole lot. However, this would be a great plugin to blend in special effects or to thicken up an otherwise weak performance or just make your voice sound more evil. There are four different modes to this beast plugin. You got Serpent, Imp, Monster, and Beast obviously. All have varying degrees of vocal modification effects as you go towards beast they become more and more pronounced more heavy, more evil, so on and so forth. Now, as I said on this mix, I don't have much of a reason to use this, but I decided to anyway because it was something new. I wanted to throw it on and see what it could do. So I threw it on imp mode and have the mix way down here. However, I can definitely see a lot of cool blending opportunities in the future with a plugin like this. Uh, otherwise, you know, we have a mix knob and a high and low filter knob here. All the plugins basically have something like this, which gives more control of the frequency spectrum you want to work with or exclude how much of the mix to allow of the drive, the original signal. So it's really, it's really actually simple to use and it allows you to use the plugin on the track itself or as, uh, you know, an effect send or something like that. Moving on, we have overload. This is basically a clipper and it functions very well as a clipper. Now there's a cool thing here. There's a link button. So the link button here, when enabled, will keep it so that the volume does not increase as you crank the clipper itself. This will actually allow you to hear what is happening to your signal instead of being fooled into thinking that the clipper is doing something awesome just because the volume was increased. So this will be a great little tool to add a bit of extra grit and distortion to your vocal if you don't want to smash it or use the beast but you want to push it just that much further. Be sure to use the link function so you can actually hear what's happening to the vocals and not just think it sounds good because it's louder. Moving on, Room. Now Room is exactly what it sounds like. It's a plugin of various reverbs. You have rooms and plates of various sizes and then two special reverb sounds. With the dry and wet knobs here, it'll be really easy to plot this on a track or make it an effects track to run multiple vocals through. Um, that's what I did and really not much else to say on this one. Frostbite now, uh, this is a saturation plugin. And this is going to be a great way to add extra grit, color, and obviously saturation to your vocals. This is going to be that plugin that will allow your vocals to pop out because it will give it that little added bit of character. Now be careful with this because you crank this, it's going to be straight white noise distortion and not the good kind. Uh, saturation is a huge part of making metal vocals sound brutal, so I'm definitely a fan of this one. We just need to be careful with it, add just what you need and not much more. And finally, there is Smash. Now this plugin is a combination of compression and limiting. Now when I first tried this one, I was quite surprised and ultimately impressed because it takes a vocal and smashes it in your face. So the, des the, the desired effect is real. The other very neat thing about this is that it's a bit dynamic. You have basically a red and a white zone. So you can use it as a compressor when you're more or less in the red zone. But you can also literally smash something to pieces and the plugin will be uh, starting to act as a limiter in the white zone. The red and the white zone, uh, you can see here with the knob, you go all the way over, stuff like that. So red, white. But uh, going, all, going over all of these, you may realize, wow, Scott, this is basically just you know a vocal processing bundle. And that's largely true. However, these plugins can be used in other instruments, probably guitars, uh, kick drum, for example. But they really shine with vocal production and they make it so much easier. If any of you guys are familiar with um, other vocal processing plugins out there, um, they always add a little bit of extra character and you can never really get the final adjustment that you want. I really like how these plugins are separated. You want some saturation, just add frostbite. If you want to smash something, just add smash. 
I really like that. And then you can use uh, them in combination to get what you're really going for. So let's actually show you what I mean. So looking at the mix console here, I have a just a basic approach to mixing vocals anyway. It's very simple. I just, I like, basically I like to go EQ, compression, saturation, uh, DS, or, and then limiting. However, with these plugins, it's even more simple. I do the EQ as also and the DSing if necessary. But now I can do the compression and saturation with these plugins and it's it's like I can simplify my process even further. So let's start just with the lows right here. I'll play the song, I will make a loop here and I'll A, B everything. We'll just go everything, have a listen to everything. I'll shut up for a second so you can hear what the plugins are actually doing. All right, that's the Artifact Bundle from Solemn Tones. These are a great set of plugins. I'm a big fan. I'm definitely going to be using this for bro uh, vocal processing from now on. Super dig it. Really like it. Uh, hit the link below, by the way, in the description to go check out this bundle. Buy them for yourselves. And be sure to use the Chernobyl15 coupon code, which will get you 15% off. I don't know how long that code is going to last, so use it while you can. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Stick around. Check out my other metal processing tutorials that will pop up in the end screen here. Be sure to hit like, subscribe, the bell notification, leave a comment. What did you think about these plugins? What do you think about vocal processing plugins in general? Are you going to buy these things? Do they look interesting to you? 
let me know in the comments below. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.